You do look younger, Carla. Good. <laughs> Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. I don't know what time it is in the world for you. I just know that it's one o'clock p.m. in the United States. And I think it's 10 p.m. in Pakistan. And if I go even a little further to India, it should be 10.30 p.m. maybe in India. But anyway, I don't know all the time zones. I know that there are people here from all around the world coming and talking. And I am here to speak with you in English. That means no Urdu, no Spanish, no French, just English. No Arabic. Today we have with us, or with me, I have Pamela Hills. I have myself, and I have Rebel as long as she doesn't get um, kicked off by her network in Multan, Pakistan. We have Rebel here. I was talking to her in mid sentence, she disappeared. You know, that can be very frustrating um, for everyone. So, I need to share out, Rebel, you have someone to talk to so I can actually concentrate on what I need to do, do. And someone told me I look younger today. And of course, I love to hear that. You guys can talk <laughs> about that. Make me feel good. Sometimes that's a necessity. See, I can't even talk. Sometimes that's necessary. So those people who know to, how to find me on Rayhan's page, I'm going to be sharing out where I need to share out. Come in and talk to us. We had a nice crowd yesterday. I want a good crowd today. Okay, Rebel, over to you. Okay, yes. If somebody said to you, Kala, that you are looking younger, it's really, really true. Because day by day, you are looking more and more pretty. And I hope, uh, I, uh, yes, I hope that uh, Pamela also agree with me. Hello, Pamela, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> you need to talk up a little more, Pamela. We can barely hear you. Okay. I was the one that told her she looks younger because I really see it. Okay. So, yes. So, the same is the same case is with you. Do you uh, do you dye your hair a different do you try a different color, Pamela? Uh, no, um, I've only been two colors. Um, this color is my natural color. Uh, my my hair was what you call coal black or raven black like yours when I was younger. And mm -hmm. I tried blonde, but I went back to the dark hair. <laughs> Only two um, colors. Only two colors. Okay, fine. So Pamela, how is the weather there? It's actually beautiful today. Um this weekend it will be very hot again. All three days hot again. Okay. What about my weather? Oh, no. Yeah, your weather. How hot is it there? Now, nowadays, it's, it's getting normal. Like, um, in June, that was so hot there. Now, in the beginning, in the beginning with oh, July, it's, it's like a more fine. So it's, it's getting better, rather hotter. We can't hear Pamela, you. Pamela, is, you need uh, to raise your voice. I just... Okay. okay. This is Rebel was talking, so I didn't want to talk over her. <laughs> okay. I just wanted... 
Okay, so no, I'm she it. said something to you and you were answering and we can't hear you. I can barely hear you now. You need to speak up. Wow. Did you hear about the weather? Did you hear the weather? We can't know. hear you. I don't can know you what it is. Um, I have a problem every time I'm on here. So I just like to listen. I like to listen to everyone else talk. But one of the reasons you're here, especially at this point in the show, is that I need you to talk. Okay, okay Rebel, ask me a question. Yeah, I just saw you on Facebook that you were cooking something. So what were, what was you cooking? Okay, I was cooking uh, Korean fried rice. Um, mm. I had a request. Someone said, when are you going to do a cooking show? And so I decided to do one today. Okay, fine. I have so, lots of fun doing them. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel that you are a really good cook because you you make lot of, a lot of dishes. Thank you. Thank you. I do love to cook very much. Okay, so how much dishes do you make? Like how much dishes do you uh, make do you, uh, in, the, in your life? Oh, goodness. Uh, I have no idea. Um, oh. I have hundreds of cookbooks. I can make any dish to think of if I could find the ingredients. Oh. Fine. My oldest cookbook is over, I see, it's over a hundred and some years old. Hundred and a hundred. I can't remember. I think it's a hundred and thirty some years. Old. I can't remember the exact. Hmm. I don't Pakistani food. <laughs> you like to cook? Pakistani food. Pakistani food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know how to bake biryani, how to make sag, and other things. Um, I know how to make uh, chicken biryani, uh, tikka masala, and chicken korma. Oh, three dishes. And um, when you when you learn that? Yeah. Um, the first time, um, a dear friend in Pakistan, uh, we talked on Skype. And from his mother and sister, he told me how to make it but I couldn't find the spices here. Okay, we are having issues, I think. You're fine, so, you can one, hear me now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, sorry, Pamela, there is my one niece like, who is, who's, uh, who's, uh, um, who is not sleeping well at night. I don't know what uh, happened with him. And he's uh, he's acting like more stubborn, so I am just dealing with him. I just I sh I just love like I just hug him and uh, try to talk to him with nicely, but he is making like uh, he shows stubbornness. I don't know how to deal with that, him. That's As normal. He, yeah, that's normal. But I am worried about him because it is just happened with this kid. His name is Kashan. Like I have eight uh, nephew and nieces, but this like uh, he's he becomes more stubborn. How old is he? He is uh, three years old. Three oh. and a half, I guess. This you said three. He is three years old. Yeah. Uh, three. This is normal. It's normal um, for two and three years old. Um, yeah. I think even if they're sleeping, they're still playing or what have you. They're, they're never quiet. He has a lot of energy and like uh, his sister is, I guess, one and a half year old. And he, she wants to be there with her mother. 
and he also want to be there with his, uh, her mother but she uh, my niece her name is mehak she didn't want that uh, no. kaishan should be there with with the mother so that's why there was always a quarrel between the two little kids so that's why i think she he become he is becoming more stubborn yeah ana beech mein hamar mood pe aa raha hai आज I think he could say hi. He just, he just bought like he just shaved his hair. So say hi. Hello, Bodo. Hello. I am talking about him. I I love him so much. Yeah. But nowadays he he is becoming stubborn. That too shall pass. Um, can he say his name? Okay, Kashan, अपना नाम बताओ. तो मेरा नाम my name is Kashan. बोलो माय नेम इज कशान बोलो कशान आप खुश हो गए हो चलो पाई करो पैंग कर दो फिर जाओ चल जाओ सही है अब <laughs> I I just said to him like now it's fine because he's trying to come up in the class and he's like again yeah yeah I teach him English now he will learn it so fast okay you know teach him the ABCs and numbers and he will he will be sitting here speaking with me. <laughs> because they learn so fast we have to think about it you think mm. children they just say it i just think they, they say a they say one they say one mm. uh, that's why it's it's easier to learn a language when you're mm. a small child than it is like you are doing now yeah so like nowadays i am observing that uh not only they learn they are learning very fast um uh, my like my little niece uh, her name is mehak as i mentioned his uh, his sister she is just like a parrot when i say something she repeated that when i say something she repeated that with the same way <laughs> and she uh, she looks like a very innocent and very good bothering speak to her in english so she'll be way ahead of the kids in the class hmm okay fine i'll i'll try to do that and about about the kashan what what i am noticing is that he is becoming now because he learn some language he learn some sentences when i say something if he is in the angry mood he'll reply in the angry way like why he just want to make that make that um feel that why i am becoming angry with him yeah. he just want that <laughs> yeah. but you know you're his teacher you can teach him okay can i make a quick announcement pamela you need to keep your your yeah because okay. we can hear my i can hear you now but quickly i see there are people in the audience there's several ladies Please come to the show. I just put the directions in the chat, and I will continue to repeat them. We repeatedly put them in. However, all you need to do is have the free Zoom app from Zoom. Us. You get it very, very quickly, and then you can just come to the show and speak with us. Ladies, I want more ladies here. So please, please come. Men, you can come too, but I'm encouraging ladies to come. 
So do you see the directions? I put it under Ama Khan, Ama Khan's um, thumbs up. It's there. Just please copy the link and paste it in here so we can click on it. You know what? I can't easily do it, but it's right above the, the, the link. It's there. Where maybe I can get it. No, I can't because it takes me out. Um, it makes a mess. May, let me see if I can paste it in another way. Ladies, keep on talking, please. Okay. And I'm going to see if so I, I am can. really concerned. Carla, I am really concerned about your health. There's, there's a nothing doctor. to be concerned about. I am fine. Mm -hmm. Don't, there's nothing to be concerned about. Um, what you could do is if you could copy the link and put it in the chat online, it would be helpful. But the link is right above the picture. It's in the caption about the show. Anyone can click on it. People do it every day who have never been on the show. Ladies, you can do it too. You can do it better than the men even. So please get your acts together. I would agree I to that. To do Carla, I, being, being a man, I would agree to that. I <laughs> love it. It does, you just made it. You're my day. You know what? I wonder sometime, maybe I have received, uh, you know, an organ delivered from a woman. I think it, uh, probably that was a woman, you know, because I'm talking suddenly, <laughs> it's just metaphoric. I'm, I'm talking about women empowerment and all that. And people don't believe me. I mean, what the heck he's talking about? This old guy, how suddenly he's uh, transformed into you know, a women empowerment kind of a person, and it's just crazy. I don't know. I don't know. They don't well, have. What well, were you like before about. we met you? I want to now. I now want to know. Come on, tell me about it. Tell me the truth. <laughs> I have no idea. They don't tell us the truth. You know, they don't tell uh, who the organ came from. You know. It's just privacy. That's not what I'm asking, Ajaz. Oh, okay. I'm asking you personally. About? What were you like before you, before? Were you a very big male chauvinist like some other no, men I know? No, not really. But not as I didn't really um, advocate women empowerment as much as I'm doing now suddenly after my transplant. Um, yeah, I respected women empowerment and all that, but you know, vocally maybe I haven't really gone out and, and talked about it, but now I'm talking about it and you know, so so that's sort of a change, I don't know. Do it's you feel metaphor. that maybe part of this and is because you are, I mean, you talk to me, I know you talk to other women online, has that helped change your thinking? It does, it does actually, because now I think uh, being on uh, social media, I'm more connected to more women. Like previously, I was connected to my family and uh, friends or at work. That's all. That that was the whole interaction. And th those were the women that I was connected with. But now suddenly with having uh, 5,000 uh, 5, uh, you know, friends and 26,000 some odd uh, followers, now I'm connected with more women. So I know what what are they doing? What amazing things they are doing? What they are transformed into? And uh, what are they imagining? And what are their dreams? And they're making them true and things like that, day in, day out, you know? So I now have more appreciation, I would say, than what you guys do uh, than I had in the past. So do you think it's really opened you up to see women in a different way than you did before social media? Absolutely, it does. It did. Absolutely. I would agree to that. Yes. Because that side was hidden from me. I had no idea. Yeah. I, I, I knew uh, my CEOs and CSOs and things like that. They were women, you know, and um, uh, most of the council members here in the city are women and things like that. So that was my exposure. 
But now I know more people in different uh, women are, you know, <laughs> entrepreneurs, uh, they are teachers, uh, they are in all different kinds of uh, uh, disciplines, and they're doing awesome, phenomenal work, you know. And now I'm, I'm going to conduct a show where in a, in a family and household, a husband and wife relationship or what have you, when women is more successful than the men in the family, what do people think about that women? Hmm. That would be great. You, I also want to come to your daydreamer show someday. Absolutely, yes, please. Everyone is most welcome. Please do uh, let me know and I'll schedule definitely. I will do that, yeah. When do you do it? I think you do it on Saturday or Sunday. Oh, no, my, yeah. my show is every single day, uh, 11 Eastern. That's that's well, uh, that's part of the problem. It needs to be done on a day that I'm not doing this Tuesday, Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. So that is the only day because I, I do. But well, that's my show. Yeah. So Tuesday, <laughs> you that's Why you just do it Friday, Saturday? You have two days, Friday and Saturday. Yeah, Friday or Saturday, I can do it with you. You just sure. need to schedule it and let me know. Absolutely, we'll do that. Yeah, just give me a date and I'll, I will come. Definitely. Now, back to women empowerment. What? What is the difference that you're seeing in women now that you didn't see before? And I'm going to ask that to Sean the same question. Yeah, so what I see now is uh, I see very brilliant women who have done uh, or accomplished uh, really something in, in their fields. However, I still see that there are lots of underprivileged women which are confined, you know, and they're bound by society. You know, it's just the society, the culture that is stopping them from going out of the house, uh, interacting with people, you know, um, going into uh, business and entrepreneurship and doing things what they want to do. Because I know lots and lots of women in my circle, in my friendship, who really want to accomplish something, want to do something, but they cannot because their family would not let them do. Okay. Oh. So, okay, I, so yeah, I mean, not everybody would be like uh, Rabiel's family, right? Rabiel is doing so phenomenal <laughs> job. Uh, she has been, you know, blessed with uh, the family who is supporting her uh, in every single way, you know. And uh, but there mm -hmm. are girls and there are sisters, women, our daughters, who do not have this kind of luxury um, on their plate, and they are they're bound. I mean, they cannot, uh, you know, come on uh, on lives. Sometimes so they're not allowed to come on life, you know. Mm. So that's the thing. I mean, and and these these women, these girls, these the daughters of ours, they have so much potential, Carla, that it hurts. It breaks my heart that what wonderful, phenomenal people they are. They can accomplish so much in their life. However, they cannot just because of this damn culture, you know. Mm. So Absolutely, and I have. Be now I know you would allow your wife and daughter daughters to come to the show. Would you have allowed women to be on camera before your surgery or before you became very Absolutely. Involved? Absolutely, I did. Um, I have two daughters and uh, uh, I have a granddaughter as well. And I let them do whatever they oh. want. My, my elder daughter wanted to become... Uh, um, um, a TV anchor, you know, and she had this passion. Uh, she even at home created, you know, when she was in high school, she used to do uh, the projects for the school and she picked the, uh, the media um, course. And uh, so she made a mic and she created a cardboard, uh, you know, you know how the uh, TV cameras yeah. have this kind of thing. <laughs> She made that and she went outside and I shot her uh, with my uh, handy cam, you know, at that time uh, it was just a handy cam. I, I shot her and then she compiled a video and uh, she got first prize on on, on, uh, on that. And Fantastic. I always let them do what they want to do because they, they, they make their own decisions. They are educated, they are intelligent, they are, um, uh, they are brave. And they know the culture. They know the the respect of the elders. They know how they should be dealing with. 
and that's it. So they made that decision. All I had to do was I trained them. That's all. I provided them a platform, I nurtured them, I raised them to be That's really great. That is amazing. Yeah, sometimes I also want to meet them. Oh, Whether absolutely. on the messenger call. No, yeah, video yeah. call. <laughs> well, breaking news. I'm coming to Pakistan in December, inshallah, after doing my Umrah. Yay! Oh. Pakistan <laughs> is on my agenda. So my agenda is uh, Karachi, then uh, Sakkar uh, uh, and Hyderabad. Then Bahawalpur, yeah. Multan, uh, Faisalabad, uh, Toba Tek Singh, uh, Sargoda. Uh, oh, you have a long list. Islamabad, Peshawar, Hazara, uh, Azad Kashmir, and uh, then back to Islamabad and then Toronto. Wow, oh, how long are you going for? And then I want to say hello to Etishan and Samra. I'll be gone for like two months, at least. Well, I I may be going around that time. I'm not sure things are really up in the air right now, but there are plans for me to be coming eventually. And I want to say eventually because the plans are sort of, they go rocky at times. I know, I know, I know. Oh, yeah, you have no idea how rocky they go. <laughs> Can't talk about that on air. No, um, let's say hello to Tishan and Summer. I'm about to get to you. I have not forgotten you. I'm so glad to have another woman here. Okay, hello. give me a moment. Hello, Hi, Carla. Tishan. How are you? I'm very fine. How are you? I am fine. What do you think about women empowerment and women doing things outside of the home? Yes, uh, I believe in uh, women empowerment and uh, uh, in society where I live, uh, I live in Pakistan and especially in Khyber uh, Pakhtunkhwa. It is uh, uh, very famous for uh, like uh, Pashtun people. They are very bound to their cultural uh, limits and they they actually don't allow their women to go out of their homes. So uh, actually the problem is they, mis they are mistaken by the concept of Islam. Uh, in Islam, there is no such thing uh, not to allow women. Islam gives security to the women. Uh, like Islam, they don't uh, want their daughters, their uh, daughters to choose their husband by their own. This is considered as a big sin or like uh, something very vulgar. And I think uh, they don't have studied Islam. If you study Islam, you will find there that Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has asked her daughter that if she is willing for marriage with Hazrat Ali Radhiallahu Anhu or not. So this is the concept which Islam gives us that uh, everybody has a right what they want to do. They should be given equal chance, either men, men or women. So uh, and I think in Pakistan, in Pakistan, women have more potential than men. I uh, as far as uh, my experience, they are very. Uh, very competitive and very potential, uh, full with potential and full with energy. And they, they can do things uh, much better than men. I uh, Because men are now used to go outside, uh, women are not. So whenever any woman, any lady is given a chance, she gives her 100% and much better than anyone. So this is uh, what, we, uh, what we need to realize at that time. And we should give a uh, chance everybody. Uh, like give them education in my area a girl's education was very low uh, in last 20 to 30 years but now it's growing uh, which is a very good thing and tribal people are also coming and giving their uh, girls, okay. uh, their girls. <laughs> take a break <laughs> your english is very good thank you and i want to make a comment on what you're saying what you're saying is very important but as i listen to you i wanted to make another comment about your english yeah, people sure. think that they need to be speaking beautiful wonderful fantastic english to come into this show that is not true exactly. we want everyone from all levels of english to come the people in Pakistan don't understand that when you're speaking English, 
when you're speaking any language, you start first by speaking, then yeah. you learn how to read it, and then you learn how to write it. Exactly. When you're learning in another country to speak English, you start with writing, then you get to reading, and then you begin speaking. Exactly. I know that 99% of the people who send me these messages, I want to speak English, and I don't mean to be funny about it, know that they can do it, and all they need to do is come and speak. Exactly. You just haven't had that experience. I, we don't bite people's heads off if they come and they don't speak beautiful English. We just want you to come and speak. And once you begin speaking, you become like it, Tishan. You just speak, speak, speak. <laughs> we want to kind of slow it down and make it a conversation now. It doesn't need to be a monologue. I'm not putting you down. I hope yeah. you understand that. I understand. Thank you. I just want people to hear me say this because I yeah. know we get a lot of viewers every day, but yeah. not a lot of people come to the webinar. It's coming into the webinar and speaking that's really going to help you learn English. Not exactly. only listening, it's also yeah. speaking. Exactly. And that's Isham, I think we've had this conversation, but I'm going to ask you again. Yeah. You're a student, correct? Exactly. How old are you? 22. Oh, you're too old. Okay. Forget <laughs> it. I'm not going to take it to the next step. But... It's really important, and I want people to hear me say that, and if I have to say it 20 times each show to get you guys to come in, I guess it's what I'm going to have to do. But I want you coming in, and I want you speaking. Carla, my, 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 my little brother is uh, 10 years old. Uh, I want him to bring to your show, but your show is very late. Like it's, It began at 10 p.m., and he is sleeping at 10 p.m., so I am trying to bring him to your show. Uh, I think it's on Sunday, if I'm yeah. right. Yeah. He's already asleep at 10? Yes. Remember, uh, I'm used to talking to Ray Hunt's kids. They don't go to sleep until midnight. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, guys. You know I'm telling, telling the truth. Um. I may change the time of the show for the kids, but I have not made a decision on that yet. Yes, please let me know when you change uh, the timing. Can you keep him awake for this week and just bring him? Uh, I'll try my best if... <laughs> Give him, make him take a nap earlier so he's up at 10. Okay, okay, I'll try my best. And he, he has never spoken English, so it will be his first time. That's fine. I can deal with that. Okay. I will, I will also, I will be helping him too. That's fine, but you need to let him do most of the talking. Yes. I, he will drag, he will drag, but I, I will just do him translation for him in my language. Can I say something? Uh, can you allow me, Carla, to say something? Of course, hey, Jazz. I have a feeling I know what you're going to say, but go <laughs> ahead. So, so um, you know, lots of us have uh, this feeling of uh, camera shyness. You know, people are camera shy. When it comes to be in front of the camera, people don't feel comfortable uh, talking mm -hmm. to, uh, to people in front of the camera. And you have this rule uh, that says that, okay, if you're not on camera, I'm going to, uh, you know, disconnect you. I'm going to kick you out. <laughs> so can I suggest something that, okay, whoever wants to show their face, that's fine. If they're not comfortable in front of the camera, they can still talk and practice their English um, when not showing their faces. Would that work for you or no? Just, just a suggestion. I've been toying with that idea, yeah. um, but I haven't come up with a decision. And let me tell you why. 
Mm-hmm. This is Zoom, and the reason I do it to sh- with um, the camera making the camera such an important part is that I have to explain it. Is that I think it's important for people to be able to see people's faces and be able to relate to the faces the people who are coming to the show. Makes sense. Yeah. And if they don't show their face, then no one knows who they are. They right. don't seem real. Right. And part of this, I do it for the ladies because I understand the cultural situation. Yeah. I really appreciate the ladies like Samurai and Pamela and Rebel who show their faces because of that reason. Um, it's that I also feel and I've had a very direct experience with this. Rebel, please unmute yourself. I can't right now. Yeah, so. um, of someone who I speak to in English because I need to for some other reasons. When this person writes to me in English, I have no idea what the person is writing. If it's yes and no answer, I understand, but if it's even, I will talk to you later. Sometimes I get it, but many times I don't because he'll go later or he'll say in a very weird way, say it. Or if we're talking and we're talking on a voice call, I'm like, please let me see your face. And the reason I say that to this man is because I don't, we don't always understand each other. True. And when we see each other's faces, then we understand each other better. So if I allowed everyone to come on, come on without seeing their face, then I feel like I'm doing a disservice, to be honest, because they may be saying something that's really good and very and needs to be spoken, but someone like me, and I'm giving myself all the credit here because I don't understand, and I hate to say it, I don't understand the accent or what they're saying. I may not get it fully, and I may just close them off, not meaningfully. But or intentionally, but it happens. And the only way I know that that won't, that it's unlikely that it may happen, is when I can see their face and I can say, oh, yeah, you are being, you know, you're being sincere in what you're saying, but you're saying it in a way that the English doesn't quite make sense, but it does make sense. I don't, I just gave you a long answer to a very short okay. question. No, thank you. Thank you so much. Why. Appreciate it. Does that make sense to you now? Yes, it does. We have a little guest as well with uh, Samra. Samra Hi, yeah, I'm my youngest son. Hello. How, uh, how are you? She? What's your name? My name is Azan. Fazan? Fazan. Yeah. Fazan. That's a beautiful what? name, Fazan. Mashallah. How old are you? I'm nine years old. He what can grade? Go to the kids show, Samra. Hmm. Sorry? He should come to point. the kids show. Yeah, he can, but they are uh, much busy in their studies uh, at that time. And, and I'm not uh, very much aware of your show, actually. Recently, I've started uh, watching your show. And I couldn't catch the time. I don't get the notification as well. At your show time, I used to be busy in my kitchen and some other tasks of home. So sometimes I miss all these things. And next day I see Sarajah's show. Sir. And, uh, I miss everybody's show. I'm hoping you're good. I'm good. Mashallah. Summer, are we friends on Facebook? Yeah, we are friends for a long okay. time. 
It's not. I thought so. Um, let me add something because I've seen this happening a lot recently. Notifications on Facebook are not always working. Yeah, um, not our friends, and I'm not even getting notifications from for him right now all the time. Okay. So, Carla, what happened? The notification, I think, goes to the group. The people who are in the group, they get the notification, no? This or notification, when I send it out, I broadcast from Rayhan's page, okay. first of all. Okay. Then I brought, I share it to my page and a few other page, pages nice. that Rayhan and I had agreed upon because of different reasons. Sounds good. Um, but it also goes on my page and she should be getting that notification too. And it doesn't, there's a real problem with notifications. I actually wrote it in a chat with, um, one of Rayhan's, Rayhan's videos today. I found out about the show by going to his page, but if I went to his profile page, but I didn't, I got it on in my notifications like 30 minutes later. Hmm. Wow. And that's not him doing yeah. it. That's, um, that's Facebook. Yeah, I agree. And that could be also, I'm sure it happens with your show too. Sometimes it does, yeah. So, Summer, what I suggest, the show is on every day, every day. at 10 p.m. I may change it for the kids a little. I haven't made a decision. I need to do a little um, conversation, have a few more conversations before I do that. Because it's easier for me. Your connection. Try it again, Samra. Sorry, I couldn't get you. I'm coming. What were you saying? You were just saying something, and I didn't understand. Yeah, I I said that the, the show should be on weekends, weekend basis, and the timings should be uh, before nine o'clock because because uh, most well, of the go to bed before after nine o'clock. Actually, my kids just go to their beds after 9 to 10, between 9 to 10 p.m. These days, there are summer vacations here in Pakistan, so sometimes it uh, extended to 11 o'clock, so I don't want their routine to be disturbed. So now one month is left in their school starting, so they are coming back in their routines. Mostly kids go to their beds in uh, between 9 to 10 p.m. at night, so the, I think your show is late for the kids also. Oh, I agree with the kids. I'm going to change it when school starts. Yeah. Absolutely, I need to. But you also have to realize from this country, I need to do it at a time that is a little convenient for me. And I am nine, nine hours behind you. Behind. But the kids, I'm definitely going to make a change because I, under, I totally understand that. But I'll do it after the summer start, starts. Um, you have a question, Rebel? You know, you're a co-host. You don't need to raise your hand, and you can also type in the chat. No, I was just like uh, just checking the checking these. So that's why I just click on the raise hands, and then it raises. <laughs> no, I have a question. But uh, uh, I, I like that you are changing, you are intent to changing the kids' show's timing. It will be more easy for kids then to come and join the show. So this oh, is, yeah. This for is the nice. kids, it definitely will be changed, especially when school starts. Mm -hmm. It'll be harder on me because I'll need to remember a new time for kids, but I will definitely be changing that. Where's Ron? Good day. Good morning. I don't know what time of the day it is for you. Yeah, good evening. 
we have in muscat we have a evening almost i think 9 o'clock good <laughs> almost night night is here so what time is it now in muscat in 9:45 ah so you are an hour behind pakistan right yeah Now today we have just to bring it up this is very international we have Muscat we have the United States we have Pakistan and we have Canada <laughs> And the reason I am making a big deal about this is someone um wrote a post the other day of an interview I did with her and she thought i only talked to people from pakistan and that isn't the case i speak with people all around the world so what's up rizwan what's on your mind mm right now uh, i have no topic i think you are discussing something about the kid programs or something else uh, if there is any special agenda is there you can share with me so that we can speak on this uh yes ajas no no she is she is putting on uh, uh, ravi is putting on her uh, um, her ring so i was just teasing rings her. i was just, uh, i was just like <laughs> okay just see i really do pay attention people uh, don't you do, you do yeah so i pay do. attention to what's going on We were actually talking about women empowerment earlier and I'd like to get back to the topic because I feel very strongly about it. What do you think about what how do you define women empowerment? And I want to go back to Samara on that question too. Uh women on women empowerment Sir Jaws has said so many good things about it and I totally agree with whatever he said. um uh, i will add some sentences in that uh whatever sir said that um uh, some in some cases uh which in my which is which has happened in my friend circle that so many girls don't get the support from their parents at my age when i was in college uh, in it's uh, i think nearly 16 18 years before i'm talking about very less girls have got the opportunities to go out Uh, who wish to come who wish to uh, accomplish their dreams like working in offices working practically doing any job in my times there were opportunities to get education but uh, very soon parents get worried about the, their daughters marriages that they should get married as soon as early as soon as possible and uh, i i was the, one of the victims <laughs> i got married at very very early age if i show you my son my eldest son you won't believe mashallah so i could not continue education i was in my, i was doing my masters in english literature when i got married i i got my son uh, when i when my final final exams were going on and i was uh, having my first baby so i could not continue my education uh, even though i was a very good student in my college i was only toddler so i i prefer parents up now the scenario has changed now um all my cousins your youngest cousin they are doing jobs and those jobs which i used to wish that i should go for this opportunity i could not get so my cousins are doing job and uh, they are working with uh, males uh, females matlab i think i shall must say that there are so many mobile companies are working that they are hiring girls there are so many uh, so many lot of lot of companies have opened they, they are giving they have given opportunities the, to the girls to the women even uh, the women of my age if they miss the opportunity at that at their age so they can go for uh, courses so they can polish their abilities and now they can restart their career so i don't think uh, someone i don't think anybody is late if they got the opportunity they should get and they should utilize their opportunity these opportunities to work while working uh, from their homes or uh, using their education they should uh, go for any online work but uh, so many people i see they are working to spread the knowledge for online working but it's not sufficient 
for the people to understand that how can they get how involved in these kind of uh, uh, working scenario working uh, even i am educated i can't get those things like mr siddiq is doing a lot of effort i think so if i i think if i am not getting their point if i am not getting uh, those opportunities so so many people so many women uh, um, must uh, be uh, missing this these opportunities i think so uh, we are not late i think we should uh, all do some effort to empower women in uh, any case not emotionally but practically i must say practically we should do if uh, i uh, manage my time my time like this i should not say the time time was so long it's been 18 years i gave all my time to my family my kids so i i use that time i use my education to focus uh, on my kids mashallah they are very good they are doing well uh, my son is in college now he is a big boy my the youngest one you have seen and the middle one is a daughter i have talked to uh, her the mr jaz i think he is remember yes. so i have three kids i focused on all my kids So we, should, so we should not think that we don't get the opportunity. We miss. We are, we are late. We are very backward. We should not uh, think uh, um, think about it, these things. I, when I see Rabia, I really, uh, really feel so happy that from the city she where she belongs. It's not like a very developed city like Mohol, like Karachi, but she's doing a very good job. Today I saw her uh, interviews. I saw her live video. In which I gave her so many hearts. I just love her words. Uh, whatever she said, I thought that she's uh, saying my words. She stole my words, my feelings. So emotionally, so many people are working on uh, emotional uh, improvement. Like uh, uh, you should say that you know, speaker, like she is doing. But practically, it's very less. Practically, it's not uh, organized to empower women. <laughs> okay thank you by the way the school i i i should confess my debate it's a, <laughs> no it's okay it's the first time you're speaking yeah. online um at teacham and i have been speaking for a long time now i'm sure he didn't mind that i stopped him but oh. i wanted to give you a chance to gain that confidence um You know I agree women need to get more experience getting online and I am thrilled the past two days we've had a lot of women here and I want to see more women coming in and talking because of it Tadid you need to put some light on your face I'll be happy to talk to you but please get a little light you look like a one big black circle right now Can you put some light on your face please Yes no Are you there He seems frozen I think he is Yeah he is Dodge back if you can hear me come close your facebook and come back close your zoom and come back because i can't even do anything with you oh he is muted i can't unmute him i know that that no, his, his network is fro- his uh, connection is frozen yeah his connection is frozen he needs to go out and come back i can't do anything with him So Rabia, when you go live, I see a nice white background, beautiful, and uh, you are sitting in front of the lights and everything. What's going on now? I mean, are you tired by ten o'clock? Like you, it's your bedtime or what? I don't know. Like nowadays, it's happening. Like uh, when it, uh, this time, I just feeling, I just feel tired. But the thing is that. I just came into the bed. I am in the same room. <laughs> at, at that time, I was sitting. <laughs> uh, I was sitting uh, like um, there was a wall behind me. 
Uh, yes, yeah. That's now right. I just came with the bed and just oh, I sit see. on here. So it's and the same talk, room. You're like, still in the same room. Uh, talk, from, talk from here. Good, good. And now yeah, you're in the And room. I also want to say thank you so much, Samra, that you was there when I was doing a live yeah, now I'm on Zoom. And thank you so much. When somebody, like, when I was quiet, I feel sleepy, you know? And I, thanks to my glasses, that sometimes it didn't me. <laughs> and when somebody speaks to me, then I, like, then again I charge up, you know? Yeah, you will wake nowadays, up too like, much. It's too late for the <laughs> No, no. I at that time uh, I feel sleepy actually. Uh, yeah. To be true, I feel sleepy, but it's okay. So I just want to say some something to Samra. Um, I just want to say thank you to you when I was doing live and you was present here and you was um, relating to me. It's that was a feeling that I feel and that the things that I realized after doing so much lives. So yes. So this is uh, the thing is that yeah, like the, the two days before, how can I say? Uh, before um, the two days earlier, like I am talking about women empowerment with lot of other people as well. Like today, I am also talking to two um, people. Uh, one one was the female, and I was talking about the uh, women, not the woman empowerment. But on like she is an entrepreneur and doing such a great and nice work, and the ladies are also all the time giving credits to their parents all the time. I also do that, and their husbands and forget themselves. So my point was that we should take a little bit credit for ourselves. At at last, this is our own decision. At first. Then it comes like other persons. So about women empowerment, I just want to say that, like, but well, you're right. And I know in my case, I always say thank you to Rayhan for putting getting me started. He got me started. He convinced me to do it. Very mm -hmm. grateful from my side, but I'm the one doing the work. And I need to yeah, take credit for it. Why? Yeah. 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 And the feel, how I feel that intensely, like when I feel that I depend too much on someone, like on my father or on my teacher or, or somebody that who is like, um, um, who is guiding. So what happens is that when we feel so connected and dependent on others, we just didn't feel the connection with our own selves and sometimes i feel demotivated when um, i feel demotivation uh, so i find out why i feel demotivation or low low level of uh, energies so i find out that at uh, at the end i have to depend on my own decision that make me feel forwarding and make me uh, forward so that's why I just feel that and talk about it. My talk is so long. Oh my God. <laughs> you did very well. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Yasser was just saying that, oh my God, why I, I, I wake up? Why, why I started? <laughs> but Rebel, what you just said is very important no. because I think it's true. We look at those people who have mentored us and we say, mm -hmm. And I do it all the time. We say thanks to that person, but we're not giving ourselves credit. Yeah. And it's Good. time Good. for Good. us to take credit. Don't you dare say anything, Pamela. Um, <laughs> it's time, you know, you need to take credit for yourselves, for ourselves mm -hmm. and the work we do. I mean, I'm very, very grateful for everything that has happened in the past year. And I don't have any intention of changing any of those relationships. But I know that I don't always take credit for what I could do. And you brought up a very, very important point.
But can I say a few words, uh, Carla, with your permission? I'm afraid, but yes, let's have a man talk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hijack your show, but you know, Samra pointed out something, and I'm really impressed. Um, 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 Samra and I, we, we, we are very much in touch, and I know what's going on in her life. And, but I did not know, to be honest, that she uh, was doing um, masters in English literature. I mean, that is something amazing. And I'll tell you yeah. my real story, and I don't hesitate in sharing, and uh, I'm not sure if I shared it with you guys or not, but I'm going to share it with you. When I got married, my wife was more educated than me. She was a graduate. And I was just um, uh, um, a grade 12 past, uh, you know, uh, young fella. So I took it as a challenge. I said, oh, man, oh, man, my wife is graduate. What the heck I'm doing? I'm just an interpass. You know, we call it inter in, in Pakistan. Yeah. And I said, I'm just interpass and my wife is graduate. So, uh, so I took it as a challenge, you know, and I did my, uh, my graduation and I did my master's. Then I went for higher education to US and I did my PhD and added a doctor to my title and things like that. So, I mean, Samra, to you, I, I would say hats off to you that you have dedicated 18 years of your life to your family. Yeah. And uh, it, it's really, I mean, this is the thing that women really do. And people don't even realize, you know, they don't even appreciate that how much time, what sacrifice they have done. I mean, they're human beings, they're like us, right? You guys are like 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 me, right? I want to do so many 10,000 different things, but I have the opportunity to do those things. But sometimes yeah. some people don't have the opportunity to do things and then, then they don't really do that. But again, you know, hats off to you, 18 year of service, you're, you're, you're great, oh you're God. awesome. But again, you know, why I shared my story, you can still do it. You can do yeah, it. Yeah, I'm planning to do it. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up, but I'm there trying. You go. That's I'm, it. Yeah, I'm trying, yeah. but but somehow I feel I'm a bit late. I'm not uh, uh, going through the time. No. It's I'm never too late. It's right never right ever there. too late. This is the right thing. Never. You can't be too late. That's right. Everything happens at the right time. My. Yeah. I don't know if I should call the guy my rabbi, but I will um, for the purpose of this conversation. I used to go and talk to him because I was just so frustrated with certain things coming, happening in my life. And he would always say, everything is like it should be. And I knew he was right. Everything's happening. This very moment is what it should be. And just yeah. embrace it because you need to take these steps to get to where you want to be. Yeah, I, I realize it. all these things. Exactly. I realize it. After, but uh, it, this happened in every nature, a human kind. That when you know, things are going on in negative ways, but we think that I should go for this, why I'm stuck in these all these situations. So somehow, by the time we learn, no, this was a uh, uh, time period to learn. I have learned all so many things with that tough time, with that tough phase, which I don't want it to be in that time phase, that I don't want it to go through on, on that level, that why should I have to go through all these situations? But uh, by the time we learn, we learn how to live, how to manage our lives accordingly. Then some, at the, at then very soon that stage comes that uh, when we think that we have learned so many things, uh, beside all these uh, frustrations that oh God, why this happened? Why I was stuck in all these things, all these duties, liabilities, responsibilities. But when, at that time, I can say that I am a multitasker now. My kids are very surprised to see me. Uh, I'm a very good driver. As a Rajaz, I should confess, my big, <laughs> my life, I enjoyed all my time. When I was not married, I enjoyed my teenage life and my, from, at my father's house. He let me do everything. He let me learn everything. He don't want me to waste my uh, summer vacations even. He uh, sent all our siblings, all my siblings and me to learn some computer courses. I have done so many things in my age, but I didn't utilize because he don't wanted me to go 
out uh, for office jobs or any jobs like it was not uh, thought a good thing in those days in pakistan now mashallah pakistan has uh, developed a lot they uh, equal opportunities are given to females so he even you won't believe i he let me learn he let me uh, he allowed me to learn to drive bicycle and motorcycle even car <laughs> i am a very good cyclist i am a very good uh, motorbike uh, i can drive mo- motorbike as well my son has got to know recently i went to my home my mother's home i took my uh, i wanted my son to learn how to drive a motorbike he said no mama my knees were injured my elbow will injured or uh, i uh, will be if i fell down what will happen i said you know you see my legs you see uh, the scars on my legs i had got 11 stitches on my spindle muscles because i fell off from the motorbike uh, during learning uh, so i told him this is, this was happened while i was driving a motorbike that when i used to go to my school my brother and i used to go but i um, uh, shortly i want to say that i enjoyed my teenage so my father had taught me everything he had uh, he allowed me to learn everything whatever i want uh, and that after that i i uh, not only i so many girls uh, has to go to has to go through that uh, time phase so has to go through that uh, which time phase in which they uh, some suddenly so many things have got changed say they have they got married they uh, have to adjust with the new family their values so i did that job very well so now it's my time to do something for myself right and, and now i'm son- doing it what and now you are doing it yeah i'm Was doing so many time? things on my levels it wasn't time before you didn't you know it, it's perfectly all right this is your time this is my time, my time now whoever thought i would be doing this type of show Believe But, me, uh, a year ago, if you had told me I would be doing this now, although I had started it with Rayhan, I would have laughed at you. I laughed at Rayhan about it. I said, "This is silly. I'll do it for two weeks." And then at, at the end of the two weeks, I thought, you know, I want to keep doing it. We have viewers, you know. Yeah. And now a year later I'm still doing it and I'm like how did that happen? <laughs> Pam hasn't spoken a word. Pam what's up? I mean I know how hard it would be to listen to all us talking for an hour and not getting a chance to talk about. I empathize with you man. It's up to you. Both hands up. Thank talking. you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Carla, come on! You can do better. I mean, Pam is like listening is the toughest thing, you know. It puts uh, you to sleep, you know. When you're listening, I listen and I go to sleep. Rabel, Rabel was sleeping almost because she, she has her laptop lid, and you know, um, uh, Look, don't make me. You cannot even see her. Well, let um, Pam explain why she is listening. I did a live show this morning. Um, I was cooking. Carla, can you hear me? You need to talk up. Oh. This is part of the issue, Ajaz. I don't know what it is. I have a problem with the talking on Zoom. But I have to listen. Um, I've been talking to Pakistan for a long time. Um, You need to talk up, Pam. Okay. I'm, I'm yelling. <laughs> yes, yell. Okay, but I love to listen. I love to listen to your talk and your story. Thank you. So, Thank you so much. I want to. I want to. Do to many women in Pakistan. Keep doing what you're doing. You're an amazing woman. Okay? Now, I 
Are you talking about Samra? Yes, Samra. Yes. Okay. Um, and Carla, I will ever let you quit what you're doing. You are amazing. And you're a wonderful friend. I'm getting okay. emotional. <laughs> now I'm going to shut up and listen, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, actually, we have come to the end of the show. Does anyone else want to say any parting words? I would, uh, I would suggest one thing. Can we do the laughter therapy? You know what? You come next week and I'll do it with you guys. <laughs> I don't have time to do it now. Or You know what, Ajaz? Why don't we do it on... Friday or Saturday as part of your show. We'll, we'll, we'll do it. Yeah, I have to look at my schedule, but we'll, we'll do it. Definitely we'll do it. Or we can do it at another time to do it and really give it what it needs. I really need to give it more than five minutes. We need at least half an hour. Absolutely. Yeah, that's fine. But yeah, I'd be more than willing to do it with you. Sounds good. And if anyone else would like to do it in this group, let me know. Send me a message and maybe we'll just plan a laughter meditation program. Put it in Messenger. Do not put it here, please. Okay, Carla. Okay, with that, can we wave goodbye? Before saying goodbye, I think we should say thank you so much, Dr. Jaz, uh, sir, that he came up today and he uh, tried to manage and he tried to like uh, do things the way he do. Like he is such an inspiration, you know. How can we forget his uh, like he how he's struggling with his life and then? <laughs> then he come up with such a motivation like wow thank you so, so much. i just yeah it really means to me a lot like you are a light bulb you're thank a light bulb yes thank you so much and i actually want to take a moment and thank samra and marbel and pamela and and Rizwan, everyone who came on the show today was a really, really good show. I'm very yeah. proud of it. Thank you for everything you brought to the show. Thank you for those who watched the show. And thank you. Thank you, everyone, and especially Sir Ajaz Qureshi. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't forget to say thank you to yourself as well. And we will be back, not tomorrow or Saturday, but we will be back Sunday, Rebel. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, we will be back, two days off. But I will yeah. be here doing some interviews in the meantime, and I'll be happy if you just join in for the interviews. But for learning English and speak English, Sunday is the kids' show, and then Monday through Thursday is the normal show. And let's wave goodbye, and we'll see goodbye. you on Sunday. Actually, let me just hold on. Thank you so much, Pamela, for coming up today.